Yesterday, Raisinville Elementary had an unexpected fire drill. Thankfully, there was not any actual danger, and everyone managed to make it out of the building in under two minutes. Great job adapting to the situation, everyone. Some people at Raisinville even heard the fire truck sirens as first responders came to check if everything was safe. A quick response time could be expected in the future as well. The city of Monroe struck a deal with Motorola to purchase all new radio equipment for 911. The total cost of this is just over $4 million. Yesterday also neared record high temperatures for the Midwest in October. Our news correspondent, Sam, has more on the story. Thanks, Erica. Monroe and all of Michigan experienced some serious heat yesterday. It wasn't quite enough to break our record for 88 degrees, though. Grand Rapids, Michigan reached much closer their record high for October 3rd, which is 85 degrees. And the temperature there reached as high as 81 yesterday. No matter how you look at it, it was a hot day considering, considering the prehistoric average for both cities is 66 degrees. Back to you, Ben America. Thanks, Sam. I don't think any of us warmed up to the idea of hot weather, though. Now let's go to Haven with the local sports. Call it the weather, Ben, but new Boston Tyrion's boys soccer team was on fire yesterday at the airport last night, defeating them two to six. Raisinville's volleyball team also continues to show improvement in practice and will start games later this month. Back to you, Ben and Erica. Thanks, Haven. I can't wait to watch some of the volleyball games this year. Let's take it to Owen with today's weather report. Today's forecast is a high of 75 and gradually gets cooler throughout the day until we reach a low of 44. There is a 20% chance of rain and mountain gusts of wind. Back to you, Ben and Erica. Thanks, Owen, and that's all the time that we have for today. So from myself and Ben, good morning, good evening, and good night.